Hey guys, it is FTM Transformers on YouTube. I'm Colby. It is actually late uh, Wednesday night. I'm gonna go ahead and make this now because I have plans tomorrow and I'm not sure if I'll be able to get my video in on time. So I'm gonna do it tonight for you guys, so I apologize for the dim lighting. Um, this week we are discussing medical transitioning. Um, for me, medical transitioning is going to include of starting testosterone and having top surgery. Those are the two, I think, most important parts of becoming a, a cis man, I guess you could say, quote unquote. Um, I guess more being publicly viewed as a guy instead of a, a, you know, a trans man. I'm not ashamed of being a trans man, but first and foremost, I want to be viewed as a man. If being trans comes up, okay. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, the first step, like I said, is starting tea. I have not started tea yet, but it's something that I look forward to. Hopefully by the end of this year, beginning of next year, I'll have that in my back pocket. Um, I think it's really important for a lot of guys to be able to have that deep voice or a deeper voice than what they have right now. Also the facial hair and just having the body that looks more masculine than it does feminine. You know, your, your fat distributes, I'm sorry, your fat distributes differently and, and you, you change your face, your face changes, everything tends to change. And I think that we all want to be able to have that particular appearance. Uh, so it makes a difference when you, when you start tea, it makes a huge difference. And then the second aspect is, uh, having top surgery. And for me, I'm not necessarily a big chested person, but I am bigger, so it makes makes things look bigger than they actually are. And for me, it's extremely important to have that surgery over everything else because if I can achieve at least a masculine looking chest, it doesn't have to be flat, I don't have to have six abs. I just want a chest that I can be proud of. A chest that makes me feel like I am me, like everything on the outside matches the inside. And I know it's not for everything, I know, or it's not for everybody. I know there are actually a lot of guys who have smaller chests, and so it doesn't bother them as much to, to have, to not have surgery. But it's, for some people, you know, they have to have it. Some people don't. I'm one of those guys that I have to have it, because by having it, I'm going to feel more complete and I'm going to feel like I earned the privilege to be called a man. Anyway, guys, um, I love you. Thank you so much for the support. I cannot wait to see you guys next week. Have a good weekend. Bye, guys.